Hello y'all, we are late in the game, back in Stranded Deep. This is the new stable build update, 7-4 Experimental. So, apparently, the devs think that they're about done with this game. I personally would disagree, but it does look like they are moving into getting this into the full game. They probably won't be adding in too many other features, which is, you know, okay. I mean, it is polished enough as it is. I just have one thing to say, Beam Team Games. Give me a freaking save game file. What is so hard about that? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, you make me cry. Well, honestly, ever since they went over to the console version, I'm just running around here. Ever since they went into the console version, they just completely ignored us. All of our wants and wishes down the train. But still pretty good. You can't really complain, especially because of you beautiful people uploading all of your new creations every single day. But as far as our playthrough goes, guys, I know it has been more than a minute. We are back now. We are going to finish out Stranded Deep here. Had a little bit of a hiatus moment. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make our way over to that island over there. In the next video, what we need to do this video is we got to get our little Y-Wing raft all prettied up. So we're going to make our way west. Where is my compass here? I'm just running around all over the place. We got to go west. Okay, that way. So we have an island over here. That one there. That has all of our barrels in it. So we got to make our way over there. Grab some rope and get our raft a little bit more situated. All right, here we are. We got a massive pile of barrels here. All we gotta do, we're just gonna make some rope real quick and we'll be able to put our raft together, get some containers on it, maybe a canopy too, I'm thinking. Cause we're not gonna use our awesome fast way to travel trick. If you haven't seen that, Personally, I think that's the coolest thing in the game, making your raft fly. I'll try to put a, a little postcard in the video, but I don't think YouTube allows me to do that yet, those bastards. But we'll just get a few more of these fibrous leaves and we'll get going here. All right, sweet. We got six lashing. I think that'll be plenty. We got quite a bit of barrels from this small island, though. This was very surprising when I uh, scavenged that. But we're going to use these. Let's get our hammer out for our raft here. I don't really mind when it comes to, you know, using either tires or barrels or, or what have you. Whatever is available is available. That is how you are going to survive. But I'm thinking we're going to make this two more wide. Pretty much like a giant triangle. I have it envisioned in my mind. I don't know how well it's actually going to be able to, you know, navigate the waters, but it should be able to, because, I mean, it's going to be uh, pointed at the nose here. Should break the water, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, yeah, we're only going to get one more, huh? Okay, that's cool, we'll put it at the nose. That's still really good, and we got a bunch more at the base. Uh, not of barrels, but we do have a bunch of buoy balls. I want to use those as well. We use those for a layer. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go one more out right here, one more here, one more here, and one more here. That should be like <laughs> a pretty good space, I think. I don't know how well this is actually going to <laughs> navigate in the water now, though. I'm kind of worried about that. Let's grab our little crate. And I figured while we're here, we might as well do a little bit of mining. I don't think we've done any mining yet, which is, uh, my bad. <laughs> but we do have rocks and clay nodes, you know, thrown about the, uh, the maps. And you get about six of each. Depending, sometimes you can lose them, especially when they're in these uh, bushes or under in the reefs and such, the clay that is. But rock is always a valued resource. We had a lot back at our base. Yeah, I spent about seven in-game days getting us some resources going so we can get a good base going. It was moving a bit slow. 
you know, we're not gonna get any of this rock. It's all just inside there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, oh, wait. Yep, that's it. And we're not gonna be able to get the actual rock. So, what we can do though, let's just drop all this off. At the very least, we can go up to it and we can quick, cra quick craft some stone tools to get the rest of the little pieces in there. But it does take up our inventory space, so I don't know if that's gonna work. Ah, crap. We need to cool down and find water. Completely forgot to bring some aloe. I did uh, end up making one aloe. So this is, you know, another good reason to have, you know, a few outposts kind of strewn about because we need water and we're getting close to needing food. Ooh, barely missed him. We actually do need food, so we're, we're like at the cusp of death right now. Luckily, we've been here before. We laid out some resources and we made sure to leave a few just in case we got stranded here for any reason. I think it's right around the corner here. Yeah, there she is. Very nice. I do love these little, you know, like abandoned outposts that people have left and the skeletons that are usually nearby. Although I didn't think, I don't think I saw one for this. Yeah, there is no skeleton here, so he got away. Nice. Hopefully we're as lucky. So we can get some food here. Our smoked meat does not seem to go bad. In any case, especially when you leave it on the smoker. I've heard, you know, people say that it goes bad, but I've never had it go bad, but I always leave it on the smoker, so maybe that's just a little glitch that's let it, or, uh, that's been left in and forgotten about. And we need water. That's right. We got our water still right over here. Should be full of water. Always make sure when we leave. Yep, beautiful. Look at that. Four. That should be enough. Excellent. And we always have enough palm fronds to make sure we can add it in. Look at that, it's already ready to get full again. Alright, well, let's not waste any more time. I'm going to make it back to base here, and we'll keep working on our raft. we got so much material over there, so I'll be right back. Alright y'all, so we actually didn't go back to the other island. We came back to our home base here because we have some barrels and a tire right in that little niche there. As well as some in this ship straight ahead that we couldn't get out because they were stuck in the doorway. You know, they're a little too big. I don't know how they got them down there. Uh, but we just couldn't finagle them out. So we're going to do it the much easier way. Just take the necessary resources that we need straight down into there, build it down in the water or uh, to where it's ghosting, and then we'll bring it up and attach it to our raft. That's the easy way. We also have some buoy balls. Yeah, yeah, I remembered, right? We have some buoy balls on the stern there. Now let's anchor right here. Perfect. Bam. And drop on in. Yeah, so right down in here, see we couldn't get them out though, trying to get them through that hallway. I wonder if we can now though because of the uh, the new update. Did they change it at all? I don't know why they would. Yeah, see, <laughs> they just get stuck and you can't, you can't work them out anymore. It just gets to be ridiculous. Let's bring one more up there. So we'll do it the easier way here of just using our quick craft. To go into vehicles and craft a tire base. That way we can just bring the ghost right over to our raft and attach it. So much easier. One there. And we are able to make one more. I think I'll just get it out for right now. Oh man. I ran right into that fish. Damn lionfish. Came out of nowhere. And then we got a shark up there too. We gotta be careful. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Alright, where are we gonna put this one? I guess we'll put it on the back. There we go. Kind of buoyances it out. <laughs> Alright, then we got a lot more on the actual island. 
A lot of barrels. We don't have too many tires left. But we got our buoy balls, so we'll end up using those. And then head over to our island and get this all floored out, get some cargo crates on it. And I think this thing is going to look so cool. I got it all envisioned in my head to what I want it to look like. And essentially, it's a big triangle. <laughs> I know, it's super original. But I think it's going to look pretty cool once it's all done. We'll have some canopies on there. Look at all these barrels. We have some canopies for some fishing stations on the back end, though. So we'll have one right here. And we'll have one on the other end. Get that out of the way. It doesn't mess us up. Oh no, it's closing in! Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to get this a little bit more stable. Come on, you bastard. Okay, now we should be able to do it. My lord. Bam! Alright, where are they? We have, yeah, buoy balls. Why'd you do that? We need, oh yeah, that's right, we need five for each. Ridiculous. So we can make two. Just two. That's cool. We'll finish out our shape. It's just about there. I think we need maybe, what, two more? After these? Got one there. And we'll do one there. Kind of seeing it? <laughs> yeah, right now it just looks like an absolute mess. <laughs> oh, man, the symmetry is there, though. Now I just have to get another tire for, for the back end here. Okay, we have one up here. We can bring it back to base with us. It'll just take a long time, and we're in a storm. But I'm pretty good at bringing these back. You just gotta keep them centered on your raft, you know? There is like a buoyancy control in this game. It just sucks to all hell. So just do what you can. Okay, let's get... Man, we are dying, aren't we? Oh, man. I think we have some rations in our base. We're gonna have to take one. Ah, oh, sweet. Sweet rations. How I love thee. Nice. Alright. We are gonna brave the storm, because I am done waiting. And it is a good time to travel, because we don't have any UV on us draining away our water. But I think we'll be okay. So we need to make our way. Let me check my, my little hand-drawn map here. We are on island yep, right here. So we need to make our way about, what is that? 80 degrees, 90 degrees? Check our compass. Yeah, that's about, yeah, that's right. We're in between these two islands. We should be more about like 90 degrees. So I'll see you back on the home island and we'll get this baby floored out, put a canopy on her see how she looks. Oh, I totally forgot that I am poisoned. <laughs> My freaking thing kept beeping at me. So we had to make an emergency stop during the storm. Luckily, like I'm saying, leave little outposts here and there with some essential supplies. It might just save your life. Look at that. Poisoning. We have everything else up. And I'm like, why is it my health going up? <laughs> I forgot to check. So we're good now. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna continue the journey back home. We didn't get very far at all. That storm really does hamper your vehicle, especially when it's so big too. And we're also carrying the tire, which just makes everything aggravating. So I'm definitely not gonna have you guys sit through that. So, and just like that, we are back. All right, so let's get some plating, some decking be decking and plating because we're going to use the uh, the corrugated scrap on some of this as well. Got a nice little shark following us in. Really nice. I don't have any hunting teals though to take care of them because we, we are going to need some food. We only have three more pieces of meat but we are doing pretty good at the moment. Nice and healthy. Thank god we didn't have like a shark attack while we were dying with a peepee -pee plant on another island like a few episodes ago. <laughs> okay, so we got a bunch of corrugated scrap here. 
think we'll use a few, as well as some planks. Truly though, I don't really like the uh, the look of the planks, because uh, it's just not realistic. Of course, son. Of course. You're going to do that to me right now. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to try to use lanterns here. Because unfortunately, we don't have the time to sleep and wait another 10 minutes or so <laughs> for the sun to come out. But that's why these lanterns are so freaking nice. Not only so I can see, but so you guys can see. Now we don't need this tire. Let's get that out of the way. And we're going to lay down. I'm thinking... Yeah, I don't know. I was saying that, you know, let, let's just kind of wing it, but now that it's here, let's just kind of go with the same pattern. Only makes sense, right? Put one more right there, and just one more here. Okay, we don't have enough of that, so we're going to do another plank there. One more on the wing here. One on the wing there. And I think we're going to need one more of each, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, okay. Then we gotta get our canopy up, and maybe a few more sails too, because uh, that thing is slow, very slow, and we don't have access to our uh, our still yet, not just yet. Don't have all the necessary resources on one single island yet. It really does take a while. Okay, where are we putting you? We're putting you right there, and we need one more plank. Okay, now that looks cool. I'm liking that. So we're going to have a canopy here, another canopy here, with a bunch of shelves right in here, and then maybe two more masts in the center here, which should, or maybe we'll do them on the sides. You know, we'll, yeah, we'll probably do that. We'll probably do the mast right here on the sides. Let's go grab that. Now, what do we need for our canopy, though? We got enough for our mass, right? Yeah, so we'll have enough for two mass, and now... Okay, it only takes one for each, and a, quite a few sticks. That's not bad, though. Let's just grab a good handful. Oh. Fine, then. That should be good, though. We don't need you. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Dang keys. Okay, there we go. You know, I'm kind of thinking we should have the mast backwards, huh? Can we fit it there? Okay, we can. Hell yeah. I'm doing one there. And we're gonna do another one right there they're all facing the same way and we'll be able to put a canopy yeah we'll end up doing two canopies we can't do a canopy over our actual spot oh man that kind of blows did i just mess up let's take a look Yeah, I totally did. I totally messed that up. They should be on the outsides. Okay, now that looks a lot better. I don't know about you, but it just... Oh, it stands out so much more. How about canopies? What are we going to do about the canopy here? Where do we want the canopy? So we ought to have one right here, that way we can travel without worrying about, you know, the sun. But I do want a little fishing area. You know, we need to get our crate holders on here before we can do anything else. And I hope it's light enough for you. But you know, it should be late enough. Yeah, let me go ahead and go to sleep for y'all. Hopefully it'll be daytime and we'll all be able to see a little bit better.
Beautiful, right as the sun is coming up behind the mountain. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that's looking cool. It's too bad we can't, like, you know, build up a little platform, you know, so we can get a little elevation, but I guess that would be a little gaudy. So we only have two more plank scraps. Okay, this is actually a perfect little tangent then. I've been wanting to talk about this anyways. We haven't gotten a plank station up on any of these islands yet. And there is a reason, you know, I do like to, to use the planks as I find them, but I don't really like to build a whole bunch with plank stations. The reason is, is because it's just a little unrealistic, if you ask me. I mean, there's no way this lady is making these perfect planks <laughs> with this plank station on a desert island. I mean, come on. But well, whatever. Let's just do it, eh? Got that. I need another rope. Where's the rope? I know I had another rope here. I guess not. Where'd all my rope go? I can't believe I used it all already. I did, wow. Well, there's the refined axe that only has 1%. We'll need that. I think we need a little water. And we also need to make a hammer so we can make this plank station. Can't exactly remember what you need for a hammer. Yeah, that's right, two regular stone. All right, sweet, there we go. And now we just need a big log, perfect. Oh, that's... Where, what are you doing, man? Yeah, that's in the... Fir, whatever that is, housing or something? Can't remember what that is exactly. Plank station. Gonna put that right here. Now, there's a reason I didn't chop all these down. These are just the small stubby trees that I found around the place. But these are full trees. And if you don't know this, this really does make harvesting a lot faster. Just go ahead and leave them all together as they are. I think I need to put the hammer away. There we go. But now we can just craft planks and it'll just tank all these down and chop them all up. You don't have to use your durability on your axe. You don't have to waste time chopping them all up. Just makes it a lot simpler. Alright, that's plenty for now. But you got the general idea there. A lot easier to just use the plank station right next to all your chopped down trees. Get yourself a little stow. What are you doing? That's in furniture. No, it's not. Shouldn't it still be in vehicles? No, no, because you can actually use them in your base as well. Keep forgetting that. I never use them in my base. Well, I mean, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a straight out lie. I, I use them in my base a lot. Uh, should be right in here. Container shelf. Yeah, we don't have any other shelves, obviously, besides the plank shelf that you can attach to your walls, but this takes three... Wow. Three planks. That is ridiculous. Come on. There we go. It, it wouldn't click. <laughs> Got it now. Why don't you just go in the quick craft for me? Oh, because... Is it because I have the axe out again? Which is just weird. The container isn't part of, like, the build, I guess. So we'll have one there, we'll have one there. We're gonna try to keep a bit of a line of sight. So we'll have the other two right in the middle. Oh, see, that works out very nice, doesn't it? I think so. I think so. So we'll have this here. We'll have our little area for... For fishing and such and we'll have one two three by four twelve crates is that enough I don't think that is enough but it's enough for now let me know down in the comments below what you think about this raft as of <laughs> as of now I'm thinking that thing looks really cool we got to take it out for a test drive that's what we need to do stop no we are gonna go Alright, I hope this is a lot faster now. Oh, don't lose your lanterns, man. Where's my other lantern? That's also something we need to do. We need to put some hooks up for lanterns. 
Man, the current is strong with this one. There we go. Blast off. Alright, get them all going here. <laughs> that one is stuck. Dang it. Uh, are you off? No, not off. Don't do what I have done. <laughs> it's such a rookie move to leave your um, sails up, <laughs> or down rather, like this, and then accidentally fall off of the raft. <laughs> That's why I build mine nice and big now. Okay, this is sick. We are moving a lot faster, much, much faster than we were. Let's get into our little area. Oh, I did put it in the wrong place. That's right. Our, our rudder is right here in front of this one, which maybe I'll switch. Maybe I'll put the sail where that container is. We'll have we'll have this canopy in you know on top of us where we are, and that'll open up both of these spaces. Oh, that'll look so much better, won't it? I think so too. I think so too. I agree. We're gonna do that just for you guys. <laughs> But I think we are going to end the episode right here. This thing is cool. I mean, it's gaudy. It's very gaudy, I'll, I'll admit it. But I'm loving the way it came out. The pattern looks pretty cool. we got to fill this up with crates and get them all, you know, labeled and organized. But this was a pretty good episode, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to know more about Stranded Deep here in the future. But if nothing else, just remember we relate in the game, but better late than never. Have a great play.